All right, so I am looking at abandoning this. I spent many hours putting these holes in and now and after playing with it I just want to give up I just want to stop using it it was just an experiment to figure out how to fix my knee pain <clears throat> and and do exercises without feeling pain in my left knee so I would just do this and I didn't feel pain but the exercise is not that good. It's, it's not that strong. And I, yeah, I just, I'm not that enthused about it. It's a heavy unit and it's only a single purpose. So I'm not happy about it. And I think this is it. I'm gonna just give up on this idea. I've given it a try and, and now it's time to move on. What I have discovered just last night, what I've realized in my journey to fix my painful knee is that, I mean, I want to show this, but uh, uh, first of all, I just want to say that I've realized that it's not just the up and down manner of my knee as much as it is the, uh, the foot positioning in this car. When I sit in the car, I'm constantly putting my foot forward to the right. And that's twisting my knee, causing issues. So late, uh, past just less than 24 hours, I've been pushing my foot in to this side. And <clears throat> trying to, trying to, uh, straighten out that strength imbalance because that's what I got. I got a bad strength imbalance. So when I do that, yeah, I can I can squat without serious pain just over just within a few hours of uh, not twisting because I was pigeon toeing my foot. That's the problem. It, it, it's not all those problems, a meniscus tear, it's not all those other problems people talk about. It's my problem, which involves turning my foot inward to way too much. So I want to uh, do exercises that push my foot out. I'm thinking something like a wobble board I want to look into, but I want to push my foot out, the left foot, because that's the only foot that's getting picked on. The right, right knee is fine so all the pressure i'm putting on my foot is twisting my knee i was going through a ton of ideas trying to figure this out a ton like i actually started watching videos about knee knee surgeries and all that trying to decide if i needed a knee surgery <clears throat> And I noticed also in my experiments, and this is why I want to give up this unit now, is that all I got to do to exercise the knee, this knee, is just simply have something to push the bottom against, and then I try to straighten my knee. And this is more of a workout than that thing. So why should I keep that if it's not gonna tire my leg muscles out as much as this? I could go hands-free. I could just sit here and just force my leg to straighten out. Squatting too, I can use my hand a little bit, but I'm, I'm putting pressure on the tire and then my calf or the back of the knee with the squat. It hurts a little bit still. I, I'm just now getting into the, the right path for for improving my knee pain. But this gives me a workout, trying to make my foot straighten out, make my knee straighten out. This is a nice workout. Better, and, and uh, I didn't realize this, you know, just with my, just with my uh, five foot stick, I didn't realize I could just simply do this. I, had, I was 
I go through a thought process that didn't take me there, but I was realizing <laughs> that <clears throat> I seem to have been getting relief squatting when I put my thumbs, when I put pressure on my thumbs on the back of my calf, getting up and down, but not as much when I put my hands on top of my knee, getting up and down. So I'm like, what's going on there? I need to put pressure on the back of my leg when I squat up and down. But it was more than that. It's, it's the twisting of the foot that I need to fix. <laughs> so that's, that's the new path that I'm taking here with my, my uh, journey on trying to fix my knee. So I'm just uh, making an update here. This is out and um, I'm taking a new direction. This thing is heavy too, it's like 20 pounds. So I say good riddance and I hope uh, my knee gets better.